my goodness grief. Come on. How on earth? They can't open the door because the floor is oh, buckled. Oh, my goodness. I mean, seriously, it's like every old tire in the city of Detroit has been dumped in this living room. There's a lot happening here. This is obviously a chop shop. It's giving me, like, some serious bad juju. Ooh. Poor Shay. You would think after all this time that she would have Did just desensitized by it, but it doesn't seem to be happening. It seems like it's going the other direction. It does seem that way. <laughs> well, the one thing that I really dislike about this living room, it's just very small. It's so narrow. It's so narrow. It makes it very difficult to decorate something like this, you know? The dining room is of a more ample size. Keith, I wouldn't touch anything in I this house. I would not touch anything. We're gonna have to do the sage and like frankincense and stuff. I don't like it. I don't like this house. Here, let's go check out the kitchen. So the kitchen is really small. This is one of the smallest functioning kitchens. How is this a kitchen? Where do you put the stuff? It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> you have to have some cabinetry, a stove, This is the only thing that was counter space, was this sink thing. Uh, that's very bizarre. It's like, where did the fridge go? Where does the stove go? It is weird. We'll have to figure out how to fix this, because this is not the greatest. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. Come on, Shay. I'm coming. So here's the bathroom. <laughs> oh, it's small. Here's a bedroom. <laughs> it's not the tiniest room. The ceiling height is nice. The window's good. Anyway, let us move on. Be careful, there's no handrail. I realize that it's forcing me to touch these filthy walls. Oh. This is pretty nice, right? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing how clean it is up here. This will be a nice main suite up here. Mm -hmm. It'll be very big. You can have a bed and a desk and a sitting area, and then it's got a massive closet. Oh, nice. And then the other end of the room, there's kind of like this just open space. So the question is, do we want to convert that to just like a living area? Do you want to use it as a bigger closet, or do we want to make it into a bathroom? I mean, if it was a bathroom, that would be a huge selling feature. The one existing bath that's here is so tiny and so gross. Even once it's cleaned up and sparkly and pretty, I am concerned about the size of the bathroom. So to add a second full bath would be amazing, and it would be a huge selling point, which would make my job easier. If it's in the budget, I would say, go for it. What do you think we could sell this house for if it had an extra bathroom? With the home selling in this area at 120 per square foot, I would say 120, maybe even 125, because then it would be a 3-2. Yeah, OK. We'd have to keep the budget around 90 or below. Mm -hmm. We could list it at 124.9, you know? Yeah. That'd be cool. pretty sweet. It's going to take a good number of dumpsters. I'm guessing 12. Maybe 30 15. yarders? 12, 30 yarders? You know, you always underestimate it, I must say. It's true. All right, back to the trash heap. Back to the trash heap. I'm going to need some help navigating these stairs. This house is already very small, so I want to give it a modern take on a rustic, cozy cabin. Lots of wood accents, lots of plaid, just like the cozy shirts you wear up north in Michigan during the winter. This house would make Protar very proud. I mean, if he lived in Detroit in the 21st century. Can you grab the big sledge? It's in the car. You have the mega sledge in play today with the, with the chimney. Mega sledge with my prom date's name. <laughs> we need this, this. If you can drop that, bring those, and bring one big piece. Really what this bathroom is turning out to be is a project in the kitchen as much as it is upstairs. To cover pipes, we're gonna build out the soffits above the cabinets, and then I'm also gonna add beams across the kitchen to give it that cozy cabin vibe, but also to hide one of the pipes. All right, one more time. 
and get a total measure. All right, 101 and three quarter for this one. I'm struggling with this. You would see this design in a very high end yeah. kitchen and we're trying to do it on a much lower budget. The idea of the beams was my original like, here's how I fix this in my head in the moment. But now that I'm facing reality, I've got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. All right, let's start with this. Are you doing that tile? Yep. <gasps> yes. I love that. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's gonna be so cool. Tile that is plaid. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, there's nothing cozier than plaid. Like a nice woolen plaid throw. That plaid tile is gonna be legit. Super chic. We're doing valences in plaid, plaid curtains. I've got some custom art that I just finished up of mountainscapes that'll really take you to that cozy cabin vibe. Yep. That's awesome. That looks good. I like that plaid. Uh -huh. I ain't never seen it in tile other than in the hospital. Uh oh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you know, the hospital had fancy mosaics like this. So you're saying it looks like a hospital? No. <laughs> All right, well, not the vibe I'm going for. Once it's all done, it won't be giving you the no, nah, hospital nah, nah, vibe at all. You'll have yeah. the nice brass sconce. You'll have the <laughs> nice vanity. Like, it'll be. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll be nice. yeah especially right off the ensuite. Uh -huh. Coming right in. As soon as you open, as soon as you open the door, just bam. Yep. This house is looking good. Thank you, thank you. We're trying to get this kitchen done. We have some build outs that are taking a little bit longer than normal. I get to get a sneak peek, right? Yeah, come on in. Shay's here. Hi, hey. Shay. It's oh, a mess. So good. I mean, Chaotic. a mess is what it was before. I would say this is a transformation. And that's the kitchen? It's mm -hmm, open. Yeah. I just remember the kitchen, it being closed in and it being really tiny. So you opened it up. Did you move the kitchen over this way? Yeah, okay. we did. That wall is was about right here. Wow. <gasps> Yay. It will be very beautiful. I must say, I haven't been this giddy in a while for an open house. Put it up. Oh, wow, that's lovely as hell. Everywhere I turn, the detail is on point. The only room that's kind of like meh is the living room, but I think with what I'm doing, Ugh. it should really elevate the look and it'll kind of cozy it up a little bit. <sighs> but that is really nice looking in there. I'm getting like a really great vibe about this house. It's just really elegant. I love it so much. As usual, I mean, the guys came through I was a little skeptical because there was so much that needed to be done. What? Oh, oh my goodness. Keith, you have outdone yourself with this house. Oh my goodness. All I can say is wow. The transformation on this house is literally, it's jaw dropping from a car part and garbage heap to this very chic and cozy, like just up north, cozy cabin yeah, getaway. Like really, really good vibes. We bought this house for $6,900. We have spent right around $90,000 on the reno, and we are listing it for $134,900. Welcome, welcome. What do y'all think about this house? Oh, yeah, it is fire. Okay. I love the color. That's beautiful. And yep. it doesn't look like any other house on the block. Best looking house in the neighborhood, for sure. New doors, new windows, new roof. Pretty much brand new everything. Excited to see. Let's All go. Right, let's go. Oh my god, I love it! This is beautiful. Wow. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> Brought in lots of wood tones, lots of green. 
Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's cozy. For real. <laughs> like, give me a blanket, have a little tea time. Or a little wine time. A little wine time. <laughs> the dining room and kitchen combo mm -hmm. really has transformed. I love the memes in here. Tiniest kitchen you've ever seen. The guys opened it up. It just makes the space feel so much larger and brighter. I'm loving this. This is bigger than my kitchen right now. And I love the cabinets. Yeah, they did their thing. They did their thing. I got to one bed. Oh, my goodness. Little butler's pantry. Oh, yes. There's a lot of cabinet space. Uppers and lowers and the wine racks in there. Plus, we did the antique hutch to kind of give you some character. I absolutely love this. I love the detail. Everything has a detail onto it, and I love that. This is the first of two bathrooms. OK. This is amazing. Yeah, it was um, not very inviting. Kept with the wood and the green and sort of the same tones in the tile. The flooring speaks to me. <laughs> what are you saying? You're saying, buy me, buy me. I'm coming back. Don't worry. I got to see the rest of the house. Let's go check out bedroom number one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's perfect for a kid's room or a guest room. So this is not the main bedroom? This is not the main bedroom, no. Wow. Let's check out the main bedroom. Yo, OK. Oh, you know, this room is really nice, Shay. I agree. I mean, you have so much space up here. I could do a cartwheel in here for sure. And I mean, I probably could get a little running start, you know? Oh, my heart is taken. <laughs> my heart is taken. I love this. 